Um, I'm Jen Rowe, and I am a female rapper from the Bay Area, and basically I'm known for taking the ladies and rocking the mic. Yo friend like Rishi, two shots at the bar, they both for me. What's it like being an out lesbian rapper? Um, honestly, I love it. 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 I wouldn't change nothing for the world. I wouldn't change my sexuality. I wouldn't change me being involved in hip hop. I love being an out lesbian rapper because I feel like I'm just not afraid to say who I am. And I'm not afraid to be a female itself, just a female in the hip hop culture or being a female MC. I'm not afraid to be a female and an MC, aside from my sexuality. Well, I started recording when I was about 17, 16, 17, and I was already writing way before that, but one of the first times I recorded, I was about 17 years old, 16 or 17 years old, and I actually had so much material that was already written, I had so much stuff to record, so after that, I just kept recording the stuff that I was already writing, and it started turning into full songs. Damn! They got a gang of bitches up. Some of my influences as um, as artists when I was growing up, um, you know, like in the in the mid '90s, it was like Conscious Daughters, E40. When I was like in fifth grade, E40 was just starting to, to pop out. So you know, sprinkle me, sprinkle me. <laughs> you know, time, time. I was like, oh, okay, you know. Sugar, sugar. Uh, that's what they call me. That's my sister. You know I ain't right. And that really influenced me because I was living in Vallejo at the time and one of the major artists that was on the radio was E-40 and he was, you know, where I was from. So I was like, okay. Um, so he was a big influence, I felt, because he was from the same city I was from. Another influence was um, Snoop Dogg, because Snoop Dogg was also repping the West Coast and he had that little gangster flavor to him and he was also um, an influence for me. And um, I think those are the main three main influences. I would describe my sound as, you know, I don't think it's it's too hyphy, but at the same time, a lot of people can hear West Coast influence in my production, in my beats, and some of the way I spit, so it kind of has a West Coast influence. Some of the stuff I rap about can be anything from, um, I go back into my past and I write about growing up. I write about my experiences um, dating girls. I write about the struggle it is when I am dating girls or being with a girlfriend and how everyone else around me, how they take that. I write about that. I write about um, falling in love. I write about getting my heart broken. I write about kicking it. I write about partying. I write about growing up. Um, I write about the Bay Area and what goes on in the Bay Area. I think it's important that you need to be out about sexuality. I mean, not you need to be because you don't need to be, but I feel like it's important because it's real, it's real life. It's actually, there are people that are in your family that is probably lesbian or gay that you might not even know about or that you might know about that need to hear this music. Sorry, mama, I never meant to hurt you. What I see in the future for Jim Row, I see big things popping, no doubt about it. Big things popping. I mean, I'm moving like the BART train on a non-traffic day. So I'm I'm moving with without stopping and I gotta keep pushing it. So I see big things popping. I'm working on um, some more new music videos, some more music. I'm doing a lot of networking and um, I'm worldwide. You know, I'm doing shows worldwide and not a lot of female MCs could say that. You know, that are from the Bay Area. You know what I mean? And I'm doing shows worldwide, getting you know people buying my CDs from Japan, from Germany, from Europe. You know, so it's like, hey, I'm here. My MySpace is myspace.com slash Jen Row. That's J E N R O. Wood grain clockwise when I stare. He ain't know about the clutch. I'm switching to six gear. Yeah. Bandana, Jim Row, Montana. You can't catch me like that.
more LGBT artists to check out. This is the game where we all trying to get to the same level. Every rapper in the world want to be rich. What have, I've tried to get across in my music was the, was the idea or the notion of being able to be true to your, yourself and whatever that self is or whatever that is evolving.